Hey babes, it's me again. Sorry to interrupt the beginning of the video, but I forgot to mention that this is part one of two. So I on screen, I'm going to have all the groups that I will be covering in this video that I collect. And then part two will have these groups. Thank you. Hey babes, it is me. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a like entire photo card collection video because I've been wanting to film a video of my entire collection for a long time and I haven't. Every time I'm ready to film a video, I'm like, oh, I have like a huge stack of cards to put away. I'll film after I put those cards away and then I get more cards and it's just this like ruthless cycle of like never being able to film because I always have cards to put away. But this is like one of the rare moments where I only have like a few cards to put away. So I'm gonna film this now, but I have I have seven photo card binders. Um, however, this purple one is actually an inclusions binder. So technically I have six photo card binders. We're gonna get into it. So everyone that I collect, I collect. So I'm gonna name everyone that I collect. So if you're not interested, you can leave the video or I'm also gonna have, um, what is it called? Chapters. So you can just skip through and watch whatever you wanna watch. But I collect OT4 Espa, OT11 X1, Sean from Billy, OT5 Itzy, Woods slash Sinyan fully. I collect Won Young and Iso from Ive. I collect Juyeon from Xenary Heroes. Oh my god, they're having a comeback soon. Um, I collect my top three in Luna, which are Jin Sol Gohan and Olivia Hay. I collect Shiyun from Stacy. I collect OT9 twice. How can I forget that? I collect Jamin from NCT. I collect Ginny and Kyujin from Enmix. Um, I collect On from T1419. I think that's everyone that I collect. I had to look at my binder because I low-key forgot. So the first binder I'm gonna start off with is my inclusions binder. So the reason I'm starting off with this binder is because I think this video, this binder's only been featured on my channel once. But basically I used to collect my top three and stray kits, and my top three at the time were Chan, Mino, and Jisung. And so this was my stray kits binder, but it's turned into an inclusions binder. So yeah, so I'm gonna be flipping through everything that I have. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about like, can this focus? Anyway, I'm not gonna go into too much like detail or focus on specific cards or items just because this video would be so long, but yeah. So in here, I just have like X1's like postcard pouch. And then I have these like um, NCT 2018 Seasons Greetings. I have this Jaehan and Jamin standee that I got in like a trade or something. But yeah, I used to collect everything for Stray Kids and there's like cat hair in here. So yeah, I just have like some stay and playground stuff, but these photos are really nice. And Stray Kids used to be my ultimate boy group. And so I really tried to collect everything for them. So yeah. So I watched like a ton of these videos uh, beforehand for like preparation of how I was gonna do this because I was like, should I be super talkative and like, I don't know, explain every card that I have or should I be quiet and just flip through everything. But I realized like watching people's videos where they were super quiet and just going through the pages was really boring to me. And I didn't like, I just was not engaged. I didn't really care for their content. Um, and so I just decided to like talk through this video because I think that's the most entertaining for me. Plus, I don't want to just sit here and flip through my binders and not say anything about them. So, yeah. Also, I have X1's white Kino. I just haven't never, I never put the postcards away. So, yeah. And I'm sorry if you hear like a staticky noise. That is my air conditioner. And I also need to like go through these a little bit slower in my bed. But yeah, I just have some like random big inclusions. I don't collect big inclusions for anybody anymore. I used to collect big inclusions for Jamin, but now if I have something, then I might as well just keep it. And I even have like big inclusions to put away, but I ran out of two pocket pages, so I don't know when that'll be. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I just have some Jamin stuff here. Um, Jamin was like, Jamin, I think, I think I've been ulting Jamin the longest out of everyone, and I've actually been collecting Jamin the longest. I started photo card collecting in February of 2021, um, and I've been collecting Jamin the longest. Technically, my top three stray kids would be the longest, but I don't collect them anymore, so yeah. Moving on to the next binder, I'm going to do my A5 Espa binder because this is now the only A5 binder in my collection. Espa is one of my ultimate girl groups, so yeah. I wanted to get this binder out of the way because it is like a tiny A5, but I don't like this binder. I got it on AliExpress, but I just don't like this binder. So I need to get a new one, but I've been saying that for months and I haven't done it yet, so whatever. But for Espa, I collect OT4 album photo cards, select, and then, and then I collect select OT4 like non-album stuff, but here I just have Savage. Um, Savage only took me like a month not even a month, I think it took me like three weeks to get all the photo cards for OT4, so that was really exciting, but now with girls, I have 28 photo cards to collect, I believe, including like the international versions of the album, so it probably is going to take me a little bit longer, and then I just have their SMC stuff, but I'll be putting all my girls' photo cards away in one video, but yeah, also I didn't collect their other SM Town version for the SMCU cards because they're so expensive. And then here I just have pages set aside for the new era. And then we just move into some non album Espa stuff. So I wanted to collect their like sticker photo cards. I have their Forever Cash Bees. I really wish they would release more Cash Bees. I think they're so cute. I have like some Clio cards. And then I was going to collect the newer Clio selfie cards, but. I only have Giselle set. I don't really know if I'm going to collect these though because now I have so much to collect for the new era that I'm just not really feeling it, but whatever. But I've been a fan of Espa since like pre-debut and my first bias was Winter, but like now my bias is Ning Ning, I think. But I just like them. I don't know. And Girls is a bop. Um, at first, like, when I first heard the album, I wasn't the biggest fan. I was like, what the fuck? But Lingo has definitely grown on me, and so has I See You. I See You was like, I knew we were going to get a song like that, but I wasn't, like, expecting it to be on Girls of all albums. But the song's really grown on me, and I really like it. And that was everything I have for my Espa collection. So this is my next binder. It's my mixed group, so I have, like, all my groups here that don't have a dedicated binder also everything here is stored in alphabetical order so so first i have billy and for billy i click shun um yeah so this is snowy night it's really looking bad however i just bought the rest of the cards i need for my friend so thank you lily love you but yeah also i accidentally called sue and sua in another video you're gonna get that video before this one comes out, but I know, I didn't notice until after I posted the video. I was like, oh shit. I think I just saw bangs and I was like, oh yeah, that's Sua, but it's not. And then for the collective Soul Me Unconscious, I have this card on the way, so I'm just missing the last two Polaroids. Um, so yes. And then I have like my pop page for her. I'm just gonna collect pops of hers I like, like I have some on the way that are really cute but you guys will see that in like future starring photo cards videos then we move into my itsy collection so for itsy i collect ot5 as in i collect one ot5 set per era so this was a set i collected for icy i actually have this yeji on the way so that's exciting and then this was the wannabe set I collected. I really need to like start looking for these like last few cards because I'm literally only missing four cards. And then I'm up to date until the new era sneakers. Or no, it's called Checkmate. Um, I love this set. This this Rigin card is literally my favorite card of hers. But my itsy bias line is Yeji and Yuna, by the way. So yeah, but I just love all of them. And sneakers came out and I was like low-key. Also, this set is so pretty but I was low-key scared of sneakers, but it has grown on me. <sighs> They've done it again, whatever. We have Crazy in Love. And then for Checkmate, I think I wanna collect the set where they're holding the red heart. I really like that set for some reason, so yeah. 
Next we have my Ive collection. So I do collect Wanyong and Iso. Um, the progress is progressing, we could say. It's not doing too well, but you know, it's whatever. Hopefully I can finish, or I can like at least, I would like to have like half of the cards done for like 11 and Love Dive at least before their next comeback. So that's my goal. And then now I'm moving into my Jamin collection. So I used to have Jamin in an A5, but I decided to move him into just like a normal binder because why not? Also the glare is so annoying, I'm so sorry. Um, I took out his circle cards too, cause I'm like, they just look weird in here. But yeah. Um, also these two and this card are my favorite Jamin cards. So we have Resonance part one, which I'm missing Kino. Then we have part two, which is completed. I love this card. And then we have Hot Sauce. Hello Future, which I need to put fillers here, but this is done. And then this page will be for SMCU and then the Universe cards. I have like been slacking on my Jamin collection because then this is for Glitch Mode and Beatbox. Next is my NX collection. And me! So I collect my top two, and my top two are Ginny and Kyojin. So this is the progress I have so far. I'm just missing Ginny's ID and then Kyojin's like blind package set, but hopefully I can get those soon. Um, yeah. And then these are like the pops I have. I was gonna collect Ginny full pop, but I think once I get the rest of her pops on the way from like the group orders I joined, I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot of them. Some of them I don't like, like these are just, they're so similar and like, you know, I don't know. They're nothing special to me really. But then like some of these I wanna keep like her pink hair, it's so good, yeah. And then I have my Stacy collection where I just collect Shein. Stacy's having a comeback, I think in a few days. So yeah, I have to catch up. I have like one stereotype card on the way, but I need to make more progress on this collection as well. But I was almost collect like contemplating fully collecting her, but I just don't want to do that. <laughs> they have so many cards already, so. And here's my really depressing T1419 page. I've honestly considered collecting all of his nine pocket inclusions just because of how little he has. Like I only collect his Korean photo cards and I'm still missing one from last era, which came out like a year ago, I think over a year ago now, so. I need to just suck that up and buy this card. I've been trying to find it for like a really good price, but I might just buy it from someone on Instagram who's like overpricing it, I don't know. But that's it for T1419. And then we have Xenary Heroes and I collect Jun. I wanna collect all of his like selfie photo cards, or at least like most of them. So I have his, I don't know what these are from, but it was like, debut md that they released so yeah it's like the tin can cards or something but they are having a comeback and each member has four photo cards so yeah their comeback is in a few days and i'm literally so excited because the like sampler sounded so good of all the songs like i'm literally so excited for this release um but next we have my ot10 ot11 x1 collection so I say OT10 slash 11 because I keep all my Singyeon cards in my Woods binder, so yeah. But for X1, I'm literally missing two cards and then my entire collection's completed. So this Hongil is one of them. And then this Hongjun, Kyungjun, why did I say his name weird? I have this card on the way. I bought it, so I'm so close to finishing X1. I'm very excited. But... Honestly, collecting X1 has been really easy. I've just been getting lazy for the last few cards because I'm like, oh, I'm only missing, you know, one or two more. And so like I wasn't going on my way to find them, but it's okay. Because I have everything now, so it's all good. I just need that last Hangul and then my collection will be complete. Also, oh my god, this is on card. So Unsung, Wusuk, and Sunyeon are my biases in X1, and if they were still like promoting, I probably would collect my top three. Um, 
but because they had, you know, an untimely demise, I decided to just collect all of them, and this Unsong is actually one of my favorite photo cards that I own. And so is this Wusok. It's so cute. But that was that for my X1 collection. And then I have this photo card, which is really just like a film picture, transparent film thingy. Um, yeah. I got it because it was on my Woods template, and because I'm like a completionist, I was like, whatever, I'll just buy it, even though it's not a photo card. Okay. Alright, so this is my next binder. This is my Luna binder. So for Luna, I collect my top three, and my top three are Jinsil, Golan, and Olivia Hay. So for Jinsil and Golan, I try to collect all of their photo cards. For Jinsil, I try to collect all of her big inclusions and select Golan and Olivia Hay inclusions if I need to like fill out a page. Um, and then for Olivia, I only collect her album cards, however, I do have some of her non-album stuff just in the sake of, like, filling up sets, so, yeah. But, I just have, like, I still need to organize my Jinsoul, like, inclusions section of my binder, so it's kind of a mess, but that's okay. We just have, like, all their pre-debut solo stuff, so I'm literally just missing Olivia's sets. I only collect first press for these cards, so I'm having a bit of trouble. Why does this keep going out of focus? I'm so sorry. My lowest um, first press card I have is this Jinsel, and it's 314. But then I just have these unit pages for um, their pre-debut unit. So this is like the Odd Eye Circle Jinsel page. I would like to get her limiteds, but for now I'm just going to be putting the a mix and match and max and match like normal unit cards here in place of where her limiteds will go but i have all her like um kim lip and jinsel and jinsel and cherry stuff done so that's cool and then i have beauty and the beat i'm literally just missing my limiteds also a few of these cards are first press i didn't mean to collect first press but this is first press this is first press and this is first press it was just convenient for me now we have like the more depressing part of this binder which is like plus plus and multiply multiply literally i have like nothing so yeah and then we have hash and then also 12 is pretty depressing you know you know the the progress is is progressing you know like i'm trying I need to catch up on Flip That too, so yeah. And then I just have this like mixed pop slash like Midnight Festival page because I need to organize this. Like I need to set something up, but yeah. Then I move into and. This is like my favorite Jinsoul photo card, so fun fact. And then I have like Jinsoul's pods, which are not set up. And then go on. I'm just missing her like other Apple Music and some other one where she's in the black outfit. So yeah. And then we have Not Friends. Hula Hoop, which is so sad. And then I haven't set up for Flip That. This is all I have so far is Olivia's um, AR card. <laughs> then I have like their non-album stuff. This page I have to put fillers back in, but like, I'm still missing Jinsel's set. Some of these pages I just have like whatever member that I have. Um, this page also needs fillers. Then I have like their Orbit Kit stuff, so yeah. And then because I bought the Orbit 4.0, I decided to keep the other nine members because I couldn't get rid of these cards, they're so cute. And then I have this page, which is like, this is an example of like an Olivia card I kept just for the sake of filling up the page. So yeah. And then I have like their Polaroid, whatever, summer package. And they just announced their new summer package, but like the photo card pre-order is like one out of 12. So I'm not even gonna bother pre-ordering it. And then I have their on wave stuff. Um, I'm still missing Jim's whole set for this. And then I have the trading cards. 
I am not collecting Olivia's trading cards purely because she shares a unit with Golan. So I'm like, I don't want to collect them. And then I move on to all their season's greetings. This gentle card also is so cute. And this Golan, I love them. And then I decided to collect Olivia's just because I found them for a good price and I was like, why not? But I am missing Olivia's 2021 season's greetings. And I'm missing Jinsoul's 2022 season's greetings. In the back here, I just have a page of like Luna cards I wanted to keep. So I have this like really cute Chu. I have this BB, Heejin, Olivia, Chu. Yeah, just like cards that I really liked that I wanted to keep. And then I have to organize this, but I'm out of two pockets. So like I'll have to do this another time, but these are just like the big inclusions I have so far. <laughs> Kind of sad but it's okay and then this keychain i got made on etsy hey babes so i am back again thank you so much for watching this was part one of my entire photo card collection part two will have my ot9 twice binders and my entire woods collection so stay tuned for that that video will be up tomorrow at the same time 12 p.m pst um, I think that's everything, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye!